Hello, this is Roy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Civilization VI, continuing our game as Hungary. And uh, we got declared war on by both America and Scythia last turn. Which is funny, because America said, hey, would you declare a war on Mongolia with us? We said no, and immediately they said, okay, we're going to declare a war on you with Scythia, which... Okay. I guess they just wanted a reason to go to war. Go figure. Uh, I'm not too worried about them, to be perfectly honest. Um... So we'll see what happens there. Alliance level increased. We only have one alliance at the moment with Wilhelmina, which we will have to break at some point. Uh, we did lose a suzerain with somebody. Not sure who we lost. Was it with you? I'm not sure who we lost it with. Eh, oh well. I'm not going to stress it right this second. Production. Um, we can always do the canal stuff, but again, it's fun in this case, but not really critical at this point in time. So I don't know that that's a good idea. Might not be a bad idea. Well, let's start off with repairing our defenses. Because I just noticed that that is not fully repaired up. Uh, definitely get the library here. You are continuing on with the railroad stuff. Yay, we got us our first railroad connection. Some error score that I guess we could have held on to and done in seven turns. But it's going to be all right. Um, a new spy... I guess we will send you over with one of these guys. Why don't we send you to Mexico City? We might be able to flip that one through spies. That could be useful. All right, you have one build left, and there's a looks like one more fishery over here that we can hook up. One, two, three. Could hook one up there as well, but this one should be fine. This one's got. It's gonna be better for us anyway. A lot more food. All right, we do have to be careful of this ironclad down here. I kind of would like to hunt it out. I'm going to back you off for a second. It's down there somewhere. All righty. Um, I'm going to swing around here. Be in a position to go after that city here in a moment. You are also going to swing around. I guess you're going to come around this direction. Um, you two guys should be able to deal with this mess. Oh, we lost the guy that was here. Oh, okay, because you bombarded with that. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Didn't we take this with this unit, though? Am I blind? Where's the unit that we took this with? Oh, we must have had your units, and then we lost the loyal. We lost the suzerain to you there. Okay, that's what it was. We had your units, but they took it back. Okay, fair enough. I was gonna say, I was like, what am I missing? I know we had a unit over here a second ago. Um, we'll just move you into the city, and um, we can go and attack from here. That's gonna be okay, relatively safe. Uh, we may need to send another unit over since we lost the muscat units. Although honestly, the ships and everything should be plenty to deal with this mess. So I'm not too concerned. We could send another, like, pikeman or something like that over. Yeah, look at all these units that we lost. Okay, now I remember. Do we want to go ahead and declare war on Norway while we're sitting here? I think we want to wait till we finish off Scythia first, to be honest, at this point. Take Oslo very quickly if we wanted to, just to get things started. No, let's cover you up as well. Yeah, we need to get Muscat back. Once we get once we get um, Amani over there, we will be fine with that. They're not. They didn't flip suzerain to like over, did they? No, they're just they have no suzerain at the moment. All right, I knew you were coming. I just didn't know where you were. Actually, some oil for horses might not have been a bad trade, come to think of it. I don't have any other ships in the area, do we? Let's go ahead and just get you out of here, then. You're just... You're not going to keep dying and stuff. We don't... Not really helpful to us at the moment. 
All right, outer defenses repaired. Um, you know, could get you a, a friend, I suppose. Let's get you another privateer, buddy. Make you at least a little bit stronger. Workshop is completed. Um, we don't really need the factory because we already get the factory bonus. It can't hurt to get some more factory. Actually, you would be powered and it would give you even more stuff from the power from over here. So, yeah, sure, why not? We'll work on the factory. Uh, let's go and get another builder here with Liang, and then we may move Liang over somewhere else after that. Shipyard's done. That does help give us a bit more production here. Uh, we definitely want to get some basic walls here at the very least. Oh, we did already get a builder. Um, apparently, you can get a monastery. Let's actually check to see how much that would be. That might not be a bad idea. All right, so let's make sure we get both of you guys down here in position to do some good attacks here. Eh, it wouldn't hurt us that badly. We might go and do that. This would move you out, which means you would take an attack, but you're pretty strong, so I think you'll be okay. This will also give you a promotion. Uh, we also have these guys swinging around. Not quite in position to attack, but they should be able to do some good damage next turn. Just a second, guys. We'll be back to you in a moment. Uh, let's just move you over here somewhere. Oh, you're going to swoop in here as well. Be ready to roll. You are, I guess, confused. I'm not sure what you're doing. Just chill for a moment. You are fine. You are kind of confused as well, so just kind of be in the area. All right, uh, how long until we, we got four turns left to get them back, which I guess is going to have to be. I don't think there's any way we can speed it up or anything like that right this second. Now, Norway does have a lot of ships, so we got to be, got to be a little careful. All right, we're, we're getting a lot of error score here. It's not really helping us that much, but I guess I'm okay with it, because honestly I don't think there's going to be that many more errors to be perfectly honest, because we're, we're really going to start putting a hammer down on the war side of things pretty quickly here. Um, oligarchy would be really useful to plug in here, actually. Um, very useful. So would the military organization. I think we're getting plenty of gold, so I think the harbor adjacency for the production is a little bit more critical. So then I'm going to go ahead and plug in Oligarchic Legacy. And we're already done with most of the upgrades that we're going to need, so we're going to plug, take you out and put back... Maybe the naval unit thing again. Amenities always good. Um, National identity. I mean, that's pretty useful. The amount of uh, strength that you lose when you're injured does actually add up. You know, let's plug that in. It's, it's a direct combat strength bonus and uh, could definitely be very useful. All right, we're going to back you up, get you promoted up. Uh, how's the loyalty here looking? It's dropping pretty fast. We're actually going to lose this here soon if we don't take this other city here pretty quickly. Well, we should have this very quickly now. In fact, there you go. There you go. You know what? I didn't want to take you out, my dear, but you're the one that had to come after me. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Alright, we're going to keep that. I think that helps the loyalty here. Yes. If you add this up, it is actually a positive 8.4 as of right now, it's just not not recalculated yet. Um, so we're good there, good. All these 
Success fabricating scandal. Very good. That's going to help us keep Antioch secured. Um, so you already got the fabricate scandal boost. Disrupt rocketry is always useful for late game. So it's still technology, to be honest. To be honest. You know, we're going to take still technology. I don't know. I'm hoping we finish this game before we get to rockets and stuff. Grow a city to 15 pop. How close are we to that? I don't think we're that close, to be honest. 12, and it's not growing currently. Stagnant. 11, slowly growing. I'm guessing they're stagnant because of housing. Housing's definitely the problem here. What is your problem? Just, yeah, you're definitely housing as well. We don't really have any way to get housing right now. So we're not going to get to the 15 pop anytime soon. We need the neighborhoods to get to 15 pop, quite honestly. So that's okay. I think we'll just hard research that. I mean, I would love to get to the envoys up here, but I also really want to get to uh, armies and armadas. Uh, is it possible we could steal a city that has 15 pop? Uh, yes. It's very possible that when we take this city, it might... I don't remember how much it loses, to be honest, off the top of my head. It's possible it could still be at 15. So you know what? For that reason, let's... Uh, let's go ahead and switch this over to get the envoys, after all. Those will always be helpful to us. All right, back to you. What were we going to work on with you? Uh, I mean, the medieval walls, yay, but not really super helpful right this second. We could do some more land units and stuff. I don't know if it's super critical right now. Are we even close to any great people? We're actually close to a great engineer right this second. But we're going to get that one automatically. There's no real reason to, to get that one earlier. Still would love to get a great general, but it seems a little bit hard to do at this moment. You know, I'm going to do some harbor shipping. Getting some more great admiral points for right now could always be useful. All right, you finished your military academy. That is good. Let's just get a quick builder up this area to help out a little bit. We did successfully escape. And we are ready to go to war with Norway. Do we want to wait a tick? Or are we ready just to go ahead and pull the plug? I think we're actually ready. I mean, there's so many units around here. The only reason I would wait is if Muscat was going to get flipped over to them instead of us. And... No, we are suzerain now. It came to us... Anyway. No, oh, how did I... Has it been that way the whole time and I just wasn't paying attention? Well, my bad. Well, there you go. So now we got that back. I probably will wait one more turn then because I don't want these units just to get destroyed by his ships before I can get them into some relative safety. So wait, one more turn for him. Uh, does this mean we even need Amani over here? I actually don't know that we need Amani over here after all. Let's move you along then. Um, Granada will be really hard to get. It's got a long ways to go. <laughs> Jerusalem would be even worse. We could get Mexico City. Which is an amazingly good one for us to pick up. Um, we already sent a spy over there. But we may need the, com the combo of Amani and the spy to get enough things to flip Mexico City. So why don't we move you to Mexico City? I think that's going to be good. It's going to be a useful place for us to go uh, to pick up. Because that range increase is always, always helpful. All right, so that looks good. And, yeah, we'll wait one more turn so we can get the Muscat units into uh, a safe place and go from there. Actually, you, know you need walls. So we may just go ahead and take out Oslo real quick, just because it's right here. Plus, our land units actually might be able to take this without the, the sea units anyway. Uh, go ahead and duck in here, get healed up. And you'll also, by the time you get healed up, the privateer here will be done, which will make you even stronger. All right, so a monastery would give us some housing and some faith. You know what, why not? I don't know if I'm going to do a lot of them, but getting one down is not going to hurt anything. 
All right, so you got the railroad here. I guess we'll just kind of keep trucking along kind of to these southern edges here. Kind of get up to the city over here to Heidelberg and then maybe come back up to Aachen, Berlin, all the way back around. All right, being denounced by Congo is fine. Everybody hates the fact that I guess that we are taking people's cities from them, but I mean, what are you going to do? They... Uh, they declare war on me. I just finished it. Teddy Roosevelt was ravaged by national disaster. I really don't know if I care to help him. I'm going to say no. I'm, I don't really care one way or the other, to be honest. But if it passes, it passes. Oh, didn't mean to hit that. It did pass. Big surprise. Actually, I think that means we aren't able to participate, but... I don't want to give him money. Come on now. Actually, just rifling. Doesn't really help us right this second. But definitely not a bad thing to have. Uh, yeah, it's good going with the university stuff. Uh, you finished a builder. Really not a lot for you to produce right this second. You know, do some harbor shipping here as well for the moment. All right, we're about to declare on Norway. Let's get everybody just kind of in position over here. Why is my movement key not working? I hate it when that happens. Sometimes the, the the keys like get messed up and they don't let you, you know, do what you need to do. Right, we'll get you guys close. You'll probably just land here here in a second. Anybody else need to move over? Okay, you need to move over. Uh, you might actually get in position to attack the city itself here in a moment. I don't think there's any more like just out in the middle of nowhere. Hey, hello, settler. All right, Mr. Everybody hates me right now, but what you going to do? Form a war. Sorry, my friend, but you kind of got to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of my way, little little messages. All right. Um, so, you're going to start moving around this way. Keep, be very careful of his other units, though. So you have a promotion, so we'll just move you most of the way. Take your promotion. Let's keep moving you guys up this way. You're going to go ahead and... Oh, you're going to take your promotion. Perfect. Um, again, we're going to take this city over here first. Again, I can't hit the R key to do the range attack. I don't hate it when it does that. It's annoying. Um, honestly, I'm not going to need all these units at all. I'll land you just to get you out of the water for a second. Which, those of you that can attack, go ahead and attack. We're not going to need all of you, though. Not really. I actually expect that one to, to finish. Yeah, there we go. Got Oslo. We'll keep it. I guess if nothing else, it's a staging point to kind of help heal up and just help block this area over here. All right. So over here, though, let me start moving some people into position. Right, you're going to move up. Actually, honestly, you may move up. I need to make room for the bombards. So uh, you, Mr. Bombards. I'm going to have you land. Start doing some attacks here. You would get attacked from there, so it's going to be a little dangerous. Probably safe to have cannon land here. Let's deal with that mess. We do have two. Wow, this one over here is a long ways away from its city. A little annoying to deal with, but we'll be all right. Um, who's our strongest unit? Probably, uh, is it you or you? Oh, definitely the Hussar. Don't know if we want to do this attack yet. We're going to keep moving people in position. Some of you guys are going to get attacked, and I think it's just the way it is. I actually don't have a buddy. Uh, battering ram. Let's move it up. Knight. Not really anywhere for you to go. Just... Be a target, if nothing else. You may die, but actually, you know what? We can turn you into a curse. Curser, however you say that. So let's back you up. All right, you 
can get in there. You can also help attack this dude. Which is probably a really good idea. Get rid of these guys where we can. Bombard, just swing down here to be covered up. I really don't care about the settler, to be honest. <laughs> Whatever, we'll pick it up. Might as well. That would actually really hurt this unit to try and attack that. Now yeah, let's get some gold. Why not? City is not actually going to be that easy to take. It's a pretty strong city. It's what, 80 strength? That's yeah, a pretty strong city. I think we'll still be able to get it, but it is not going to be as easy as some of these other cities we've been picking off. So say, is it the strongest they have? No, they actually have some... Whoa, 99 down here. That's a... That is going to be a tough city to take. We are about to get artillery here in six turns, so I guess it would be a good idea to not lose our bombards. Although we're making so much money, we'll be able to buy a couple of bomb, uh, artillery pretty quickly here. Um, No reason to attack with you guys, I don't think. Could pillage to get some... I don't know. You know what? Why not? Let's pillage where we can. You can always, you know, put it back when we're done, especially with this builder we just picked up. Uh, this is a relatively safe attack, all things considered. Every little bit of that we do is going to be helpful. It's tempting to do this attack, even though this guy would die, but uh, this is one that we can actually group up because this is one of our own. So we will hold off on that. Cavalry would probably, he would definitely die. So we're not going to do that. You're just going to chill. And of course, because the space bar doesn't work, I can't do any of that. <laughs> that fun stuff. Uh, it's a little annoying. Whatever, I guess we'll fortify. I don't know why the keyboard just, sometimes it does that. It bugs out and it messes up. I'll have to try and like fix it here in a moment between episodes or something. All right, you're going to keep um, moving along your merry way. Um, we have three builds left. Well, lumber mill over here wouldn't be a bad idea, I suppose. It's another builder. Um, sure, let's get one of these things down. More gold, more better. Musketmen, um... Swing out this way, I suppose. I'm going to use the hard fortify because... Oh, no, you, you need to get on land, actually. Because... Actually, you can swing around here. You are a city-state unit. That would hurt very badly. Although, since you'd be covered by this ship... I mean, it would do a little bit of damage, and then we can just get you out of there. Or if you die, I'm not that concerned about it. You are not my own unit anyway. Um, Anything over here we want to do, or do we just want to kind of get to a safer spot? Probably better to get back a little bit to a safer spot here. Oh, hello. Plus five combat strength for units. That is not a small thing. I would love to get over there. Um, not sure where your closest city is over here, but definitely getting a couple units by that would be highly useful. Um, honestly, you guys may just come over here and just do some pillaging and stuff. Uh, sure, just finish that guy off real quick. He's in the way at the moment. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. Uh, when we come back, I will have hopefully fixed my uh, keyboard issues, and we will see if we can take out this city over here. It's not going to be an easy city to take out. It is a pretty tough city. Obviously, once we get artillery, that is the trigger for when things start to go downhill for the enemy very, very quickly. But artillery and then obviously battleships as well. But uh, I think we'll be fine with what we got for the moment. Even if we lose a few units over here, I'm not too worried about it. A lot of these units are city-state units. Not the end of the world. Anyway, I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.